Hey, this is John. Welcome back to my Final Fantasy X Let's Play. In the last episode, we took on Sin and did quite a bit of damage. Um, we ripped some fins off and sent it crashing into Bevel. So definitely a good start. But Titus and the gang know that we're not done yet. We have to defeat Yu Yevon if we want this to end permanently. So you don't have to keep going with the Sin fight right now. Um, if you talk to Sid, We're uh, you can go other places, but that's not my plan. We're gonna keep going with Sin, but at least we can recover our MP and stuff. So that's nice to have a safe sphere in between. Let's go see what everyone thinks. Waka, what's going on, buddy? Man, we must have hit that thing enough by now. We definitely hit it a lot. I doubt it was enough though. What about you, brother? How are things going? Unfortunately, I think the answer is yes. We gotta defeat you, Yevon. We haven't done that yet. Pops Machina always seem to break when you need them most. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That gun was pretty awesome. But I mean, he's probably lacking uh, in skilled mechanical and electrical engineers for thousand year old technology that he dug up out of the ground like a month ago. So it's hard. Lulu, how's it going? I think it's a little early to start celebrating. It definitely is. We will keep that in mind. How's it going, Orin? This isn't over. Not yet. I know. I know. Don't worry. We're gonna end it. What do you think, Kimari? Sin still lives. Kimari knows. Okay. Well, yes, I don't think Sin's dead yet either. That crash was not the end of Sin. So, uh, if you want to trigger the next phase of the fight with Sin, uh, we need to go out and talk to Yuna, who is on whatever you'd call this part of the airship. I'm calling it the Fiesta deck, but uh, leave me a comment. What do you think this part of the airship is called? All right, let's talk to Yuna. I wonder if Sir Jack is in pain. Maybe. Let's just end this, quickly. Good idea. The Faith said they'd help us, right? Yeah. It bothers me the way they said that. Huh? I mean, they've been fighting alongside us this whole time. But now they say they'll help? That's true. I guess so. Why are they saying they'll help now? That is confusing. Wait. Oh, I think Yuna's starting to put the pieces together. Sin is reborn when Yu Yevon merges with an Aeon. Isn't that right? That's understanding. If I summon an Aeon, Yu Yevon will join with it. Probably. But at first, it'll be small, won't it? It might be. We don't really know. Yeah then we might be able to beat it without the final summoning. That'd be awesome. I don't know. What if you Yevon jumps again? Then we'll take it down again. Yeah. We'll fight him until there's Love no place the left to Love the confidence, run. Titus. We're not stopping. This is over. We end this now. I never thought it would come down to this. I know. Yeah. It wasn't the original plan. Hey, the faith. This is a this better plan. Too. Let's let them rest. No more sin ever again. The faith no more said temporary calm. It's pointless to keep dreaming. No more sacrificing people. The dream will disappear. We're going to actually make the world a better place. Oh, wow. She is definitely putting stuff together. And what is it that you, Yevon, is summoning from within sin? The dream of the faith. I'm not sure that means much to her. You won't go away, will you? Or maybe it was exactly the clue she needed. I don't know. You, you guys, guys! Come on! Something's it's happening to Sin! Uh, uh, okay. What's going on? Okay, not dead. And it has wings, apparently. It can fly. Okay, it's become a space whale, I guess. Okay.
object. He's waiting for you. Let's go finish this then. Well, son, the main gun is still busted. We can't give you any cover fire. Hey, just take us in. We'll do the rest. That's right. Everyone's behind you, Titus. All right. Take us up, flush to the mouth. No mistakes, or I'm gonna tear out that mop you call hair. Uh, trust A little harsh, me. Sid. Take you there. No problem, yeah? Maybe it won't seem as harsh since brother barely speaks the common language. Our father's wishes. Let's make them come true. Yeah. will fulfill Braska's actual wish. Not just a temporary calm, a permanent one. So you get one more chance to uh, save the game and do any prep you might want to do. So let's see here. Uh, I think I'll start with Titus, Yuna, and Lulu again. Um, we're gonna be far from Sin, so we'll need to do some magic damage. And we'll use uh, Titus to do haste. So, um, I don't plan to change any of the weapons or armor. That was pretty good last time. So I think we're okay for this time. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get going. Back up to the Fiesta deck. For the next shit I was sent. Or alert, not the final. We'll get it. It's coming. Okay, there it is. Does he have part of Xanarkin on his back? Here we go! Yeah! Weird. I'm coming for you, Dad. I saved my overdrives, um, I probably won't really need them, um, the only thing you need to do in this fight is not let Sin get an overdrive. If he does, it will end you. Um, yeah, so that's the important thing. Um, but we can do magic, our magic is pretty powerful, we've got a lot of it, um, yeah, we're, I think we ought to be fine. So, let's start off with a Hastiga. And let's do some Holy. Max damage, perfect. Let's go ahead and double cast Flare. I could do Holy, but because she's got that, that uh, magic booster, it costs 170. So honestly, Double casting Flare, even for 216, is probably the better move. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, uh, Titus can't do much else right now. Let's go ahead and bring in Kimari, and we'll use his Holy. So if you didn't take him down the path I did to Yuna and get Holy, you won't have this. So, you know, just use use someone to give Lulu ethers or something, you know. His magic isn't quite as powerful either, but, you know, that's still pretty good damage. I think he's got maybe a hundred thousand plus HP here, but, um, yeah. So he'll do this a few times, he'll draw you closer, and uh, we'll have to... Yeah, he'll charge over every time he does that, so we gotta watch out for that. Once we get closer, he'll do other attacks, too. Let's go ahead and clean up Lulu's magic, um, finish up with some players, and we'll take her out of the fight. Okay. Do another holy. But I mean, we've already done 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
60,000 almost damage. So, I mean, we're doing fantastic. So, this is why I say you don't want to be over leveled to phase 10. This is not this is not the final battle. This is the, the other one will be a lot harder. But um even here, this is pretty easy to do at this stage in the game. So um okay, um yeah, like the holies from Kimari. Totally not needed, but anyway. Still pretty good. Okay, Lulu, you are uh not helpful to me anymore. So let's bring Riku in. Let's use a frag grenade. I don't know if he can be armor broken, but may as well try. Didn't say immune, so it should be good. Okay, now we should be close enough to do physical attacks. Let's bring in our damage dealers and see if we can do it. Actually, give me a minute. Let me think about this. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to overkill it. So it really matters. Um, so let's see what our damage dealers can do. Um, we've got some options here. Um, let's bring in Waka first. Let's do an attack group. Okay, hit all 12 hits, nice. So what kind of damage can Waka do here? Wow, four times 12? 40,000, 48,000? Yeah, we are really close to having Sin be dead. So with Waka's overdrive or possibly even Titus's, we could definitely overkill him. Let's see, what have we done? 50, 60 from Kimari, so... Yeah, Lou, you know what? Twice, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. We're at, a, we're at about 120,000 damage. He's got 140, I think. So, why don't we hit him with Orin and then we'll try a Blitz Ace from Titus? Okay. So, if anything will overkill it, it's going to be this. So let's find out. Okay, there's about 8, that will do about 16, 17,000. Oh no, I missed it. Oh, that did not work out well for me. I can't really miss Blitz Ace. I never miss Blitz Ace. We could have overkilled it. Oh well. And I saved that overdrive for that overkill. Man, what is happening right now? Sin is like drawing us in. There's a crazy light show happening. I don't know what's going on right now. And they're all in awe too. Let's go. Okay, we got a bunch of fireflies. That, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> Oh no, was that Seymour? Spoiler alert, it was. Okay. Could have had two level three key spheres. Maybe it's better equipment, but whatever. It's fine, I guess. Dad, where are you? We must go to him. Then we will. Let me take front. Good luck. Follow me. I'm trying to walk, but he's not walking very fast. He can't really take front. 
Okay, so there we go. We have gone inside Sin. We're looking for Yu Yevin and to defeat Sin once and for all. Um, I'm going to save the game here and then we'll keep on keeping on. Okay, let's move on. I have equipped a no encounters uh, armor so that we don't have any fights in here. Right now, I'm just trying to get through here and get to Sin. I don't want to fight any random battles in the meantime. We'll just take up time. So, monsters in here are very powerful. Um, you can see we don't have the map open, but we'll open it up as we go. So we just have to kind of walk around. This is called the Sin Sea of Sorrow. So, just a big, like, like we got to go through to figure out how to walk around. And it's very hard to see in here. So, just have to kind of Go around different places and do what you might find. There is some treasure in here. We'll go ahead and grab that first. Oh, that's up the waterfall. We can't get there. Um, we can get that treasure, but not going this way. I have to go back. So we go over here instead. Okay, we can go up this way. Let's do that. The path forks off a little bit. It can be hard to see where you're going on either the floor or the map. But uh, you can see there's a path just kind of curve around in on itself. So a little circular path there. I'm going to go uh, back this way. And let's head up here and try to get all the treasure in this first area. You know, I told you that... Um, I wouldn't have the equipment I wanted for a unit for the fight I wanted to, to, to be in. And actually, um, that is not true. I, I remember that wrong. So we will be able to get a different piece of equipment for Yuna that will help out here. Okay. The save sphere and those stairs are where we want to end up, but uh, we're not quite ready to go there yet. There's another treasure chest. I don't know if we can get to that from where we are. Oh, yes, we can. Okay. So here is some treasure. A wizard lance. I don't remember what that is. Uh, what is that, Kimari? That's pretty good, but honestly, we already had this halberd, and that's already better. So this isn't that useful. Um, Okay, let's go back over there, see if we can get that treasure too. There is a really good piece of equipment that I want to get while we're in here. Level 3 Key Sphere, that'll be nice to unlock other parts of the grid. If we go up here, we end up at the place. Looks like we do. That's not where we want to go yet. There's more treasure I want before we end up there. But we'll uh, walk around. So I don't want to climb those steps yet. Um, let's go back. There's at least a couple chests we haven't got in here just yet. So let's go ahead and get those. Um, I found some no encounter stuff while doing monster capturing. Uh, they drop from ghosts sometimes, so um, if you go to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith, you can get things there. Elixir, super helpful. Um, well, not really, but it's something. So I wanted it, just it wasn't what I'm looking for yet. Yeah, there we go. Let's go down here. This should take us back to that chest we couldn't get because of the waterfall. Chest over here to the side we can go pick up. Phantom Ring. That's the one that I wanted. So, um, this is why I didn't make a ring for Yuna. Because in here, you get the Phantom Ring, which has Water Eater, Fire Eater, Whiting Eater, and a free slot. Let's see if we can customize that and put, um... What else do we have we need to get on there? Um, we need ice. Can we do ice eater? We can't. We can do ice proof, though. That's pretty good. We'll just use ice proof. There we go. 
Um, this won't be handy for too many battles, but um, the next one it'll be handy for. So I definitely wanted to get that before we can. Okay, and there's a chest where that um, waterfall was. And it's a special sphere. So what can we open with that? Um, I don't know, but it might be worth cashing in before the final send medal. I'm trying to think what we would use that for. Um, let's see what our options are for that. We can do steel, use, prey. Um, Sentinel could be useful, but honestly, Orange got that covered most of the time. And Trust could be very useful. Like, I'm thinking maybe... Uh, I can't say if I want it for Titus, Riku, Waka. That could be really useful, though. Um, most of these things, I'm thinking, wouldn't be super useful. Like, I wouldn't do Bribe or... Double Cast for Yuna. That might be the one. That might be the one. Oh wait, shouldn't have player. But we have black magic spheres too. A double cast half MP flare could definitely be useful. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do that. Um, let's go over to Yuna and we'll use the sphere on double cast. Find it again, there it is. And then we'll use a black magic sphere on flare. Now this may seem odd. Uh, I, I told you I didn't want the fight to be easy and now I'm making it a little bit easier for me. So I don't know, maybe I won't use this uh, in the battle, but it's certainly the thing that seemed most useful and it is right here coming to sin. So it kind of makes sense for the final battle that you might want something like this. Um, and I did get all those things before we came here, so, you know, it's, it's kind of, kind of that. Obviously, also, I've, I had special spheres uh, to teach uh, Titus and uh, Waka use, which is handy as well. So, you know, I do have a few skills, I guess, that would be handy. Um, so, whether I use it or just do holy, I don't know, but it's an option. Okay, uh, now we can go back and go up to that save sphere and then take on our next boss battle, who um, spoiler alert, won't be Sin, but um, I think you can guess who it's going to be based on what happened when the airship came in here. So We want to make sure all of our equipment is on. Um, I'll change my stuff at, at the safe. I don't want to take up my own kind of weapon right now. Um, but uh, we'll go get that. So if you went and fought Geoscanal um, to get no kind of weapon, that's that's an idea for getting that. That's I would recommend that if you just want to get get to sin without having to fight all, all random battles. Um, that or capturing you'll probably get something no encounters from capturing a drop if you do a bunch of capturing. Um, the wraiths, the ghosts, a couple other things in some places do it, but I don't, remember, I don't remember. So, okay, before we say, let's get our equipment on. Titus. Yeah, that's what I want for you. Um, Himari. Yep, that looks good. Yep, that looks good. Okay, we'll change this on Riku. This should be the Armada. Okay. Uh, yep, we want that for Lulu. Yep, that's for him. Okay. Phantom Ring, we want that. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. Um, I don't have any overdrive, but uh, I don't think I'll need them right now for this fight. I will try to reclaim them before the final fight with Sin, but I don't think we need them for this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we'll take on our next boss battle. Okay, let's head up the stairway. Hello, Seymour. <laughs> Don't you ever give up? Exactly. Sin has chosen me. For what? I am part of Sin. I am one with Sin forever. Okay. Great. Immortal. We'll see about that. Sin just absorbed you. 
Exactly. I will learn to control it from within. I have all the time in the world. Since you were gracious enough to dispose of Unaleska, the only means of destroying sin is forever gone. We'll see about that. Now nothing can stop us. Well, we can. Exactly. By all means, try. Well, you we're going to. Me. Your death means your father's life. I mean, I guess so, but uh. Okay, so Seymour, as always, does plenty of elemental magics. Looks like we're going to start out with fire. So um, if you didn't want to customize equipment or didn't want to go the airship location to find those things, um, null spells are helpful. He's weak to blizzard right now, I think. So I'm pretty sure the thing close to him is what he uses. He's with the opposite, so we could do that. If I will, but we'll see. Um, okay. I uh, think that we'll start with a Hastiga. I don't think anyone has any talk properties, so um, not much to do here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring someone in here, like Oren, would be helpful. Could use him to do an armor break. Um, or a frag grenade. Or if you have it, the best thing to do would be to use his overdrive. Um, what is it called? Vanishing Blade. That's what I would do if I had that. But let's just do armor break. Okay. I don't know if that took but it should be pretty obvious if we hit him and does good damage, it took. It took. Okay. So, he must not have any significant resistance to this, to armor break, because it went through right away. Let's bring Kimari in, and let's go ahead and attack Seymour. Okay. He's going to use Fire Aga. Um... Kimari only has wards. Orin just tanks the damage. But Waka is immune. So, you know, we're doing pretty good. We've got two people who have who are less good against this. Look at that. Magic counter though. Twice, because he hit him twice. Nice. That was awesome. So he does triple elemental attacks and then attacks one other person, the same thing. So it was great attack Kimari, because that meant two counterattacks. That was really cool. Um, okay. Let's bring in someone else. How about Yuna? Um, Yuna, why don't you, uh, why don't you help Kimari out? He's, uh, he's, <laughs> he could use some help. Okay. Kimari, why don't you bring Lulu in? We'll go ahead and do a double cast of Flare. We could do, um, Blizzaga, though. You know what? Let's let's try that. Let's see what double cast of Blizzaga does. That should be his weakness. So let's see what happens. Okay, not max damage, but um, pretty good damage and a lot less MP double casting player. So that may be useful. But there is no salvation for the damn. Uh, I guess not. Okay, uh, he's gonna dispel us, but I don't think these people had anything to dispel, so. Who hasn't gone? Riku hasn't gone. Um, I don't know what to do with her, though. What could we mix? Um, let's. He's still with the Blizzard. Let's do something with a mix with Blizzard stuff. I don't have any. Um, Ice gems? Okay. Apparently, Antarctic is the low level. Arctic is tier two, and then ice gems. Are the level. I don't have any ice gems, but I do have Arctic wind. So let's use a couple of those for her mix. Let's see what we get there. We get ice fall. Okay, six thousand. 
not great, but not terrible. I don't have a lot of mix items. I, I did not go back to the capturing place and get any of those items. So I did some capturing, but I don't have any of the bonuses from that. So. Okay, um, Oren. Why don't we swap you out for Titus? And let's hit Seymour. Okay. Lulu, let's bring Waka back. Actually, no. Let's let's keep Lulu in there. And let's do a double cast of Blazaga again. Because that went pretty well last time. And I think it'd be a good idea to keep that up. I don't want it to. He's doing Ultima. Okay. I forgot about this. I don't know how strong it is. Okay. We might recover from this. Because Lulu has Eater on most of her stuff. Unless she can't take on Ice, it'd be okay. So... We're going to go ahead and do a Mega Phoenix. Okay. Everyone here is immune or has ice strength, so um, we should be okay with Elemental. So yeah, um, we got Lucky Lou had up Magic Defense to tank that. It would have been better if I did a shell first, and I might do that now. So, um, so yeah, he dispels you in case you have shell and does ultimate. So just keep that in mind. But we're okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and use a lunar curtain on Titus. Okay. Um. Now he's using Blazaga, so his weakness should be Fire. So why don't we go ahead and double cast Fire Rod. Okay, uh, Titus is doing fine here. Let's go ahead and uh, hit him. Let's bring in Waka. Let's use a Lunar Curtain on um, Lulu. I'm not sure why I'm doing that though, because he's going to do this dispel thing. Now I just lost all the Lunar Curtain. That was kind of silly. Okay. Um. Well, I think the best option would be to bring in Kimari. Let's use his Overdrive. He's got Mighty Guard, and that should get us Shell, I think. Okay. So that should be pretty helpful for us right now. Plus, Kimari's a good damage dealer, so... Should be good. Oh, he's dead. Okay. If I had realized that... I would have used Bahamut to try and overkill him. But, uh, I didn't kind of have HP, so, yeah. So, you can see it's it's not too difficult to get to Sin. You know, I didn't use any of that loot, any of uh, the double casting player I did. So, yeah. A little bit of prep work and. Now, you to send him! Yes, please Rest. send him. It's. Long overdue. So, it is you, after all, who will send me. Yep. 
But even after I am gone, Spira's sorrow will prevail. You thought we couldn't kill you. We can kill Sin. I'm not worried. I'm a little worried. I know these Didn't fights right have been... Uh, yes, they will. I know these fights have seemed even a little bit trivial with what we have now, but um, the final fight will be a little bit more difficult. Okay, again, could have got two L3 key spheres. Um, in the end game, it's not as hard to get L3 key spheres. As long as you steal them, enough of them from Biran and Yankee, unlock the grids as you go along, you can get more of them later in the game, in the post game. So, uh, I'm not too worried about that. Maybe would have got a better armor for someone. Maybe or I don't know. But, uh, not super important. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put on this peaceful Targe again. Um, let's check out what we've got from these fights. What did we get from all of our fights there? Let's see here. Um, Manticore Claw has Poison Strike. Three empty slots. That's kind of garbage, but if I want a weapon that has three empty slots, maybe I could use that for something. I'm not really sure if I will. Rockbuster, Stone Strike. That's actually pretty good. That would make Kimari a good uh, fighter. Um, if you wanted to go fight in the Omega Run, that could be super helpful. In fact, I might use that in a couple places um, during capturing. I can't remember if we've talked about the Omega Runes yet. Well, if I haven't, spoiler, there's a dungeon after Sin. Zombie Strike, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know when I use it, but um, that may be a good tactical thing. And a Strike um, is pretty useful. I, I could see us using that. Slow Strike, that's garbage. I never use that. Never use that. Uh, SOS Protect, oh, that's garbage. Yeah, I'll never use that. Um, okay, so there's all of our stuff. Um, if you want to save your game, just head back and you can go to the the save sphere here. I think we're going to wrap things up there for today. Hope you are enjoying the series. If you are, please go do those YouTube things. Like and subscribe and leave a comment. How did you like Seymour's last fight? Are you sad I didn't overkill things when I could have? I, I'm, I can't really mess up two of those in a row. I can't I miss Blitz Ace. I, I almost never miss Blitz Ace. Um, Oh well, whatever. Um, I just didn't realize with Seymour he was close to death, but uh, I should have. I should have just used Bahamut there. He was probably close. So, whatever. Um, yeah. So, when we come back next time, we'll take on Sin. Actual Sin. And um, the final battle in the storyline. And uh, see what happens. So, come back and see you next time. Thanks for watching.